Hi, fourth graders. Last week, we took our literature assessment. You read a text and you identified the theme of the text. This Thursday and Friday, you will be doing the same exact thing with a different text. So let's do a quick review on how we can find the theme of a text. What is theme? Theme refers to the underlying message of a story or poem. Theme is a big idea, something that you can learn about life in general. Sometimes an author will come right out and state the theme of a story or poem, like in this example. I looked at all the candy I could buy. I had the dollar right here in my hand, but suddenly I didn't feel hungry. I wished that I hadn't stolen the dollar. I wished that I hadn't taken the money from my brother's bank. I don't think I want to buy anything today, I muttered quickly to the clerk. Then I ran from the store. I had learned something important. It's better to be honest than to have money. I want you to stop and give yourself a thumbs up if you think you know what the theme of this story is, and if you think it's right in the text. If you have your thumb up right now and you think it is this last sentence, you are correct. This is sometimes going to happen when you're reading text. They will sometimes say the theme right in the text itself. When a theme is stated in a text by the author, it's usually found at the end of the story. So here's a reading hint. Look at the last page of a story to see if you can find the stated theme. Sometimes though, and this is what we usually see when we read a text, the theme is not stated. Sometimes you need to make an inference. Let's use this example and see if we can make an inference as to what the theme of this text is. We knew that it was time to set the butterfly free. We had seen it make its chrysalis and emerge. Then it had flown around in the cage trying to stretch its wings. Although we felt a little sad, we opened the lid to the cage one evening. The butterfly seemed confused and didn't leave at first. Then in one burst of zigzag fluttering, it erupted from the cage and flew all the way to the end of the yard and down the hill by the school. That was the right thing to do, Aiden said. I know, I answered, even though I already worried about the butterfly. What would it eat? How would it live? What do you think the message the author is trying to tell us. I'll give you a hint. Think about the animal, okay? What is important in this story? What kind of clues lead us to finding the theme? Let's take a look at some of these clue words that will tell us what's important in this story. So we know that they want to set the butterfly free and they say it, it was the right thing to do. One possible theme for this text is that wild creatures should be free. Another possible theme that you might have thought of is it's not right to keep animals trapped during cages. You've probably read something with this theme before. Maybe you've read a text about a zoo, for example. The same themes often appear over and over again. Here are some common themes that we see a lot in literature. Persistence pays off. Persistence means hard work or perseverance pays off. Honesty is better than cheating. It's more important to be nice than to be popular. Be careful what you wish for. And love is the most important force. So many authors write texts that tell us or teach us these kinds of themes. We're going to try another way or another type of text, and I want to see if you can find the theme. This is a poem. A day to play got washed away. Rain comes down, covers town. Eyes are sad, rain is bad. Come downstairs, get the chairs. Blankets, sheet, looking neat. Inside forts instead of sports, rainy day tears can turn into cheers.
What do you think this poem is trying to tell us? What can we learn or take away from this poem? Let's think about these two questions. How does the speaker feel at the beginning of the poem? And how do the speaker's feelings change? Well, at the very beginning of the poem, the speaker or the writer of this poem does not feel very good about the rain. They are kind of having a negative attitude. But towards the end, that second stanza or that second paragraph of the poem, the speaker is feeling very positive. I want you to take a look at these four themes. Which one do you think best matches this poem? Persistence pays off. Good can come from bad. A cheerful attitude can overcome obstacles. Or love conquers all. Put your thumb up if you think you've got it. Love conquers all. Eh, we don't really see that in this poem. Persistence pays off. No, no one's really persevering. Either of these two themes, if you are thinking either of these, they can definitely be supported by this poem. Good can come from bad. This author made the best of the rain and they chose to make it into a good situation. And having a cheerful attitude can overcome obstacles. Those are two great themes for this text. We know this, we can find evidence from the text. Good can come from bad, the day starts out badly because of the rain, but the speaker builds indoor forts and realizes that rainy days can still be fun. A cheerful attitude can overcome obstacles. If you had to find evidence to support this, we could say that that last sentence, rainy day tears, can turn into cheers. That shows that the speaker is having a positive attitude. All right, let's review what we have learned about theme. Theme is the underlying message of a piece of text. It is the moral, the lesson that we are supposed to take away from a text when we read it. So how can you find the theme of a text? Sometimes the author will state the theme, usually somewhere near the end of the work, but sometimes we have to use clues to figure out the theme. Now, I want you to think about any book that you have read or movies that you have watched, what themes did you notice? Do you see the same themes come up again and again? Now it is your time to find some themes in your reading. On Thursday, we are going to have our second assessment. So keep in mind how to find the theme of a text. Nice job, fourth grade.